Hello and welcome back to Video Games. I'm Tim Rogers, you are watching Kotaku.com, and this is Death Stranding, a video game produced and directed by Hideo Kojima. Joining me today in the studio is Bennett Foddy, the creator of Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy, and also QWOP, am I pronouncing that correctly? Quop? A game called Quop. Two games about bumbling, stumbling, fumbling, and failing. Two goddarn miserable video games. Many critics have been comparing this game, Death Stranding, an open world hiking simulator, the the Gran Turismo of walking simulators. They've been they've been comparing this game to both Getting Over It and Quop, and that it's a game about struggling, stumbling, bruggling, and bumbling, smuggling fumbling. All these umble and uggle verbs. It's got all of them in it. Also, one thing one might struggle slash bumble with is uh, just the dizzying nature of the plot. We're not going to get into the plot today. We're going to I'm going to give Bennett Foddy a specific little challenge, and we're going to see if he's tough enough to get over it. That's my little improvised <laughs> introduction there. Um, I actually want to say Real quick, uh, that this, uh, see this image here? Everybody, is everybody looking at this image? Are you seeing it? We've got Potman, and he's bonking, uh, Norman the fetus Redis on the head. Actually, hang on. Let's put the music back on. Hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna try this again. This is very professional here. This is how you all like it. Do you like it like that in the bunker? Let me know. Here we go. Ready? Witness Norman the fetus Redis bonked upon the head by the pot man acting as representative of the video game critics of the world. They hate this game. They have owned it into oblivion. And he clutches it tearfully. Okay. That's he's crying because he's and he's holding the game and he's crying because the pot man representing Vladimir Putin, Vladimir Potin, uh, Jonathan Blow in a pot. He's he is representing the video game critics of the world who are dunking aggressively on this game, sending its Metacritic score spiking into the turf like a goddarn football toward the the number eighty. I realize we've got Bennett Foddy here and he hasn't talked yet. Because I've got his microphone. We're going to give him his microphone in a minute. He's talked enough. Play his game, uh, Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. I want to show you all something. Actually, if you want to get on that microphone, you can. If you want to say hello to everyone. Just to... Maybe, yeah, maybe this works best. Just, it's just, say, Bennett Foddy, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing, Tim? Uh, uh, how I'm doing is a relative question. It's an irrelevant question. It's uh, it's it's all of those things. I'm doing well compared to some other ways I could be doing. Now I uh, I did a video review of this game, and I just want to. Uh, there's a part of my review where I mention Quop. I say it's a Quop like Courier Sim with freakish horror stealth. It's like Metal Gear for Silent Hill fans who happen to have just spent four hundred dollars on a Go Ruck GR1 backpack, right? I uh. I said rucksack in the review because rucksack is a funnier phrase than than backpack. Do they say back? Do they say rucksack in Australia? Go ruck insists that you say rucksack. They, they deny that those things are backpacks. They do. They do. Well, it is a rucksack. Have you ever seen one? Held I one? Own one. You own one? <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Because I do too. It's right in my office. Oh my god! Let's not get them mixed up. Oh my lord! Wait, did, were you carrying? You're not carrying it with it's you today. It's in your office right now. Is it? Yeah. Okay, I've, I had my eyes dilated this morning because I have a visit to the neurologist. How do you like in this video game stream so far? I, it's the, I've got my eyes dilated so they can check the status of my my inflamed optic nerves. So I can't really see very well right now. Anyway, I mentioned this is so you actually are you a Metal Gear Solid fan? Uh, are you a Silent Hill fan by any chance? I, I like a little bit of Silent Hill. Oh, this is great. So I mean, this is you're the like literal exact audience for this, and I mean I call it a quop like courier sim with freakish horror stealth. So when I mentioned the quop likeness, there's Sony limited me to using 20 minutes of footage in my review, which ended up being an hour. So I had to reuse everything just about three times, right? Um, some things I used a lot more than three times. So what I actually happened to use a lot of is I wanted a clip 
that encapsulates and embodies and expresses the frustration of the opening of this game, which they confront you with a lot of difficulty at the beginning. Speaking of which, I'm going to remove a few helpful items from your character. I'm going to remove a couple of them because I don't think you deserve them. All right. Should, are you going to put that on stream? Um, we'll actually, I'll, yeah, in fact, I'll do that at the beginning of the stream. Okay. I'll do that before handing you the controller. So, actually, what the heck? Let's uh, let's leave the helpful items on. So, what, what, what I used in the review was I, I needed a clip that encapsulated the frustration, the bumbliness, the wobbliness of this game, because it is very wobbly. The movement in this game is as hard as, like, shooting is in some shooting games, and I love that. I love that he built a whole game around difficult movement. You're about to see. And Bennett Foddy, you're very excited to play this game for real, right? I'm psyched to play this game. Yeah, you, you actually bought it, you said. You know, it's not just because I get a dollar every time somebody says quop like Yeah. Uh, it, it is just like, this is this is the dream. This is what I want AAA games to be. You want AAA games to be these big, dumb, weird, open... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this, this game's weird as heck, and you're about to, you're about to play it. So, I used a GIF... I used an, I used a, a a video clip, which was then turned into a GIF by many people on the internet. I alternate my pronunciation between GIF and GIF so that both camps get angry at me. I don't know if anybody's ever noticed this. It was it then turned into a GIF, and what happened was I saw it all over the internet, and recently it was tweeted at me this morning by someone who did not know it was from my review, being like, this is what you critics trying to defend this game post-launch look like. A lot of weirdos hate this game right now. They like they hate it having not played it. They see it as some sort of attack on video games with guns. The game's got guns in it. Spoiler. You get guns and you can shoot the heck out of some dudes with them. It it's just it just takes a while to get there. So I had this GIF tweeted at me. It's like, this is what you look like trying to defend this game. And it's like I staged this this video clip so that it would be the perfect molecular example you can even see in the composition of the the bridge in the video so i'm gonna i'm gonna play this clip for everybody let's see if i can play it i actually can't see because my uh uh my eyes are messed up i think it's this one here here's the here's the clip okay look at that so it's a uh, this is very staged you can see how he starts let me start it over again you can see how he starts up here on this bridge See the beautiful Himalayan like mountain. See him dodge that thing that comes up out of the ground. See the uh, the bridges distribution center here. Uh, I staged this very clearly so that I could just have something to talk over like this. It's a quap like courier sim with freakish horror stealth. It's Silent Hill, you know, something like that. So I could just talk over it, right? That's my that's my clip, and I've seen that linked in a bunch of a bunch of reviews and such, and uh, I think that's really funny that my allusion to i tried to make the game look as that was me trying to make the game look as quap like as possible so let's see how quap like bennett foddy can make it look and uh, if we get 500 people in the chat we will get bennett foddy to play quap on stream we will get that to happen we can easily make that happen anyway without further whatever this is oh that's a death strando that's what it looks like when the death strands here you are with a controller. Okay. I all I all I know about this game, I've been avoiding spoilers. So pretty much everything that I know about it is that one gif that everybody has been sharing. So I, I guess I know it has like Norman Reedus and uh, Mads Mikkelsen. Mm. And I know there's a baby and there's like oil coming out of people's eyes. Norman Reedus and an ice cold fetus. And I know it's a I know it's a walking simulator and I'm excited for that. Yeah, it's a it's it's the Gran Turismo. So, right, like, so do you like having a button to wake up? Yeah, I mean, are you ready for me to start? Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. Let's get you started here. So here's what I want you to do. Um, basically, there's a there's a message in this game. One of the optional things that you can do is you can complete a highway across America. It's very difficult to do because you need to uh, you need to proffer heavy materials onto these highway fabricators, okay? You need to deliver metals and ceramics and just various things. And, uh, you see the highway right there? So I want to go up the highway. Yeah, well, I topped that one up. And, uh, basically what I want you to do is I want you to top up another highway fabricator. 
That's what I want you to do. I want you to adopt a section of highway okay. here in America. So Bennett Foddy has not played this game. He has not played it. And uh, he does not really know how it's played, as many of you don't. We're here in Chapter 3 of the game. We will not be exploring any story content. It takes place in the United Cities of America, the UCA. So I'm interesting. I'm interested in this gambit here. I actually think this game has quite a bit of esports to it. I, I mentioned esports in my my review. Got a couple people, you know, sticking one of their feet down my throat. Uh, sticking one of their feet down my throat. Not both of them. So far, it seems uh, it seems a lot easier than Quop to get, oh. to get started. Well, that's because notice. Oh, oh. Do you notice a little glowiness so on your legs? Yeah. That's uh that's a speed skeleton that lets you uh oh <laughs> it lets you, it lets you we're doing the stations of the cross here that's the first fall a little sunday school for everybody um so yeah you've actually got a skeleton on that helps you carry the weight better well should i turn that off i mean do you want to <laughs> i mean kind of do do you want to just throw it on the ground all right all right you want to open up your hmm. figure it out you got to figure out how to do it. Okay. All right. So we're we're having a little usability learning test here. Open menu. Check uh -huh. cargo. Oh, that's you've, it. Okay. You've got you've got a lot of stuff. That's actually a power skeleton that you're carrying. I'm carrying it. Okay. Yeah, that's all not, carried on my back. Yeah, it's here, carried. Here we go. Okay. Uh. What do I want to turn off here? Speed skeleton. Yeah. There it is. Let's see how well Bennett Foddy handles this. Oh my god. I'll put it on my back. <laughs> <laughs> what are these, these so you uh, notice you're you're at uh, uh the, you need boots boots oh, okay. we can't we can't give you no boots so that's hello oh uh cancel how do i uh get out of here i gotta confirm all right ui I'm, I, i've been using he did it I've been using ui for a long time you know I'm a well, that's UI. yeah that's good you you handled that ui a little bit UI better than veteran. i did look at that wobbly stack oh, oh, oh. okay so he's got his he's got his sea legs off or whatever they're called um, this is good. Okay. okay. All right. So All this right. is... Basically, I'm getting a lot of guff for having given the game a positive review. I'm receiving hundreds of tweets per hour from weirdos who just can't handle the fact that someone likes something that they think they might not like, which they haven't tried yet. I don't want to... Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to harp too hard on these people. Though a lot of them are like, the game is such a struggle why would you like it? And it's like, I think this is hilarious. I think this is great. <laughs> Remember the first time you shot a guy in the balls in John Woo's stranglehold and he screamed and gripped his nuts? <laughs> right? I think this is as funny as that. And, and no one is dying. I think it's funny. It is funny. It's good. And it's it's actually weirdly as nuanced. So you know how it's telling you to shift your weight, right? Um, you can actually, you don't you don't need the command. It does not invent the mechanic. Uh, at the time, it's not a QTE. Like, you can actually be doing leans. You can be doing leans. Oh, man. Well, I've run out of uh, freeway here. Do I just keep going? Well, you need to find the 3D printer that makes new freeway segments. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, maybe that's out this way. So we're, see we're seeing a, a, a legendary game designer, Bennett Foddy. Uh, my coffee is over on that other table. Can you I'm not gonna have get me my coffee once you've <laughs> navigated San Porter Bridges to a... All right, all right. Oh, give me that sweet, I'm sweet coffee. Your coffee for you. God, I can't. I can hardly see. By the way, everyone, uh, my pupils are like god darn dinner plates right now. He's wearing sunglasses in the studio. It's very dark in here. Yeah, it's not dark enough. Usually, I keep it a little darker. Okay. All right. This is actually. Oh like, my lord. I, oh, oh, <laughs> second fall. Okay, that's fine. This is good. This is very good. There is fast travel in the game for anyone wondering. However. Uh, you can't carry your stuff. You can't, you can't bring your, your cargo gets left at the place you fast travel from. Up we go, up we go. Okay, so let's see what this thing is. This is good. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Going uphill a little harder. So see, I think that the, like, I find it just such a gesture that the control, it's this hard to just move. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, you're doing good. He's doing pretty good. 
yeah, I've always felt like we spend so much time trying to make video games easy to control. And there's a lot you can do. And at the extreme, it's like Prince of Persia or Assassin's Creed or something like that, where it's like AI. FIFA is like this as well. Like AI is just doing the job of, of making everything you do seem super cool uh -huh. and super smooth. And that's good. I mean, I like those games. FIFA is amazing, but... but there's I like this other end as well. It's kind of interesting, this flavor as well. All right, so... I know uh, that Kojima is a huge fan of Out of This World, that or uh, Outer World, as they call it over there in Japan. Another world. Well, they call it Outer World Did they, they call it Japan. Outer World? Okay. They call it Outer World. All right, what am I doing here? Uh, um... Yeah, I don't seem to be able to do anything. Do I bridge links? Oh wait, are you are you? Did you open the? Uh, oh, this oh, I is, pressed oh, the wrong button. Using okay. UI yeah. for a long uh, time, whoops, huh? Whoops, yeah, it says it's 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 asking me to go to the structure menu. Yeah. So, structure oh, menu. Yes, I love this. Even the UI is mad. <laughs> Even the UI is mad at. So you. wait, where am I? I? So I'm over here. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. So maybe like. Place marker. Nope. Oh man, so you're still trying to get into that. You're still trying to get into God darned. Uh, well, okay. Am I supposed? You're not in the structure. <laughs> am, I, uh, am I? Am I supposed to do something? You got to give me a you're hint not, here. Right? Uh, you're not. You're not in the structure menu yet. Uh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's a structure menu somewhere in here is what you're telling That's, me. That's okay. Um, you almost got it back when you were talking about how you've been using... Oh, no, you didn't actually because you chose it from a menu. This is this is an excellent challenge. I like this. <laughs> this uh, is good. The best part of this challenge is yeah, it has yet to come actually, so... <laughs> <laughs> Bridge links. Well, that doesn't seem right. Yeah. It seems like maybe I would want to... Place, well, it's got to be from here. This has got to be the structure menu. You're in, you're in the map. Oh, auto paver. Yeah, you're, this is called an auto paver. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I call it a three D. I call it a highway fabricator. Okay. So, uh, place my oh, oh. Someone is saying the IGN review has twelve thousand comments on it. Because <laughs> <laughs> they gave it a six point eight. Could have given it a six point nine. But you, you like this a lot, Tim. If you if you had had to give it I, a score, I, what would you have given it? God, I, I, you know what? I'm not gonna say. I will tell you after. Uh, but I can't say on this stream because some psycho, no offense to you, whoever you are, isn't some psycho would post it on on Reset Era or whatever, and be like, "You heard it here first. Uh, and I'm I'm just not gonna give that person the satisfaction. So we, okay, I'm gonna just give you a hint. You actually never opened the structure menu. Oh, I never opened yeah, it. Yeah, you, you actually never opened it. I never opened it. You're enjoying that marker system. Though. I mean, okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, uh, I didn't realize this would be the walking simulator. Is there? Okay, so structure menu. I have to hold this down. There it is. Oh my god. That's so and also that 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 confirm option that you chose in that menu that you went down and pressed the X button. You can actually just hold the X button at any time to confirm. So right. here you go. What do we got? Okay. All right. Uh uh structure. So you can see the number there. Oh. Oh. Did I didn't you give you I didn't give you any of the materials. <laughs> okay, so where do I have to go to get my materials? <laughs> <laughs> That's the challenge. I made you walk all the way here. Oh, I, I like I have that to you walk back now. Don't I, I like that you actually found your way here without oh, any of oh, the materials. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, uh, I have to walk back, right? So what? just in case anyone's tuning in and you're seeing how ridiculously bumbly uh, his walking is here, the the game does give you legs that let you walk better, and it does actually it, it does offer you many many vehicles that you can use. Uh, we're doing it the real way. Yeah. However, we're making Bennett Foddy. I'm gonna play it this creator way. Creator of Quop. When I, I get home, I'm oh. oh. I I, de I too dedicated myself to playing it as much this way as possible until, at some point, in every endeavor, enough becomes enough, and I decided <laughs> I decided to uh, definitely put my shoes on, my big but boy the, shoes. The good thing about that is when you actually do use the assists, you'll you'll really appreciate it, right? Because you you're gonna you're gonna know what it's saving you from. Someone says the walking may be easier than Quop, but the menuing is harder. The menuing is definitely... 
<laughs> so we've actually got someone saying the graphics remind me of Final Fantasy 15. Uh, I mean, sure, maybe a little bit. I think uh, in terms of art direction, I, I do believe this is a little bit more. Uh, it's a little bit more. What do you call it? Scaly and wild. I think. Mm -hmm. Look at look at the machine design of this building up here. By the way. I think that machine, the not the machine design, the architecture of that building. I think that's incredible. Am I am I going towards a place that's going to have the minerals that I need? Um, maybe. <laughs> so you you have not gotten too curious about some buttons on the controller, apparently, uh, which is good. Oh, you jump? Did you just jump? I did. I could barely tell because he jumped such a <laughs> such a shallow height because of. Oh oh, God! I love the stumbles. So you see that you can actually feather on and off those triggers because there's, there the, he actually uses the full analog range of the oh, triggers. Oh, that's pretty cool. Which is uh, oh, oh. something uh, I said he as though Kojima made this game by himself. You know what? I know Kojima didn't make this game by himself. Uh, however, you gotta admit there's a there's a whole lot of the old. There's a lot of his personality in here. The old wily Kojima yeah. in in this. A lot of people are pointing out that uh. Uh, a lot of the mechanics in this game are somewhat similar to Metal Gear Survive. I believe, it's not even really conspiracy theorizing, I believe that Metal Gear Survive was in development. Or at least this, some form of this was in development at the time of Kojima's explosive departure from Konami. My theory is that the hospital scene at the beginning of Metal Gear Solid V used to be a, a lot more like this. Yeah. Uh, in the end, it's just a case of you push the stick forward and the guy stumbles forward and like you know, crawls along the ground. And I made a really mean joke about Metal Gear Solid V's intro, which was it finally feels like Kojima has watched some of the films that he says he likes. That was mean. That he was definitely mean. has watched a lot of the films that he likes. Oh. It's not hard to watch a film. I've watched a thousand films in my life. All right, activate terminal. One of my, I did a tips video for this game, and I know a lot of people haven't watched it. One of my tips is literally, you can get a free 14-day trial of the Criterion channel. Oh, no, I forgot to look at what materials I need. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you can check those on the map. Yeah, wow, I can't believe you found this. That's actually remarkable. Yeah, that I've, you played a, I've played a video game or two in my day. So, yeah, these uh, these distribution centers have, like, some stock materials. They also, yeah... Let's just, just take one of everything. Yeah, one, one, one ought to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, what so, goes into a row? So here's a, what here, here's what I'm gonna say. You can pack as many as you want, uh, but you have to. Uh, you can you can actually adjust the cargo that you're currently carrying, right? But mm -hmm. I'm gonna say you have to be at. Your number has to be yellow. You have to be at around 115. You see your number down there? Oh, right. You, you've got to you've got to have at least that much on you. That's the rule. You're, that's you're that's the rule that I'm, okay. that's the rule that I'm but, making but up. If uh, how how high does it have to go before I can't do anything? Uh, if it goes over the limit, uh, your dude just can't. He can't. He can't handle it. Okay. All right. So you might you might be able to check on the map. Uh, you might be able to check how much. Uh, whoa, whoa, cancel. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Right after confirm. Carry by hand, <laughs> obviously. Oh, carrying by hand is pretty fun. Oh my God, your dude is uh, your dude is in pain. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, carrying things by hand is is good in this game. It uh, uh, what do you call it? Okay, all right, good. Uh, oh, oh, carry by hand is different than carried on back. Yes. So you actually have a bunch of stuff on your back that you don't need. I loaded him up with stuff for the purpose of this save file was actually pristinely preserved. I forgot to mention this. This save file is pristinely preserved from the exact moment after that little animated GIF that uh, is on the internet. So you're playing from exactly moments after he got up and picked up all the items. So letting everybody know that. All right, I'm going to get rid of some of these... Uh weapons. <laughs> Jim Johnston in the chat says it looks like Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> he got all his uh, all his gadgets. 
All right, and now, okay, so now I can get my resins. You know, I actually met Norman Reedus in person uh, a couple days ago. Oh, how was that? Um, that was cool. He was all right. He was chill. There's this uh, Hideo Kojima was on Conan O'Brien the other day, and uh, Conan O'Brien's like, wow, they, they show Norman Reedus taking a shower in this game, and he's like, oh, Norman Reedus is ripped. And Kojima's like, oh, Norman Reedus asked if we could make him more ripped in the game. And I thought that was a joke, but then I saw Norman Reedus in real life. It's like, he's a skinny dude. Really skinny dude. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to do something so meathead-esque as disparage another man's physiology, you know? I'm not going to do that. No, I should hope not. Uh, he's kind of a... Yeah. All right, I think I'm just about ready here. I also met Lindsay Wagner. Well, uh, you've, you've been, uh, you've been hobnobbing. And, uh, I, uh, she talked to me like I was just a normal person, which was kind of incredible. She just walks up. <laughs> she's, she must not know you. She's just standing there. Right, so if it, hang on, if it's if it's red, it's if, red. You, red not, is a no can do. It's a no can do. Okay. So you actually you you yeah you're in your private locker. Yeah, you can store stuff in your locker. I'm not going to tell you how because figuring out the UI is 99 percent of it. I found this UI difficult to bumble with. I think I'm just about ready to go. I just have to drop a couple of things. No, are people making Boondock Saints jokes in the chat? Don't. Don't ever talk about Boondock Saints in this chat. I know Norman Reedus was in Boondock Saints, so let's let's not hold that against him. Two hundred and three. All right, hold on. I almost got this. It's okay to make Boondock Saints jokes. It's just a. Uh, I had these uh, these punk rocker friends in Japan, one of whom uh, brought over Boondock Saints. She got it from the library. <laughs> She had like a VHS tape of it and brought it over and we like we watched it. <laughs> and it was uh it was <laughs> it was dubbed. So it was really weird. Akio Otsuka did not dub uh Norman Reedus though. Just letting everybody know that. Akio Solid Snake Otsuka actually dubbed uh Wesley Snipes in the film Blade for the Japanese version of Blade. Little fun fact. And he dubs the character of Die Hard Man for Death Stranding. I'm still in the red. Yeah, Willem Dafoe's nuts in uh, Boondock Saints. <laughs> yeah, you're having a good time here. This is good. Are you are you actually putting this stuff in the private locker, or are you just leaving it on the floor? Floor. Oh, you can place it in your private locker. Well, is it going to matter? It's not going to matter. Well, I mean, I get to keep it. <laughs> uh, this is an old save file, though, so I'm yeah, not, I'm not actually care. even... You don't care. Okay. Uh, I'm just about ready to go. I just want to get rid of one of these. Th can I? I can do this with no. You've ladder. got you've got a bunch of things you can get rid of. Let's just get rid of these. And yes, everyone, letting uh, letting Bennett Foddy figure out the UI was also a part of this challenge. I've got ceramics. So. Do you like how I loaded you up with none of the materials? <laughs> I just made it look like you had a bunch of important stuff, but it's just a bunch of trash. I've got too many resins. Special allies, some metals. I've got too many metals. Let's, uh... We got a, we got a guy in the chat. It's still 150. You. What do I have to get it down to? <laughs> <laughs> it's really low now. 130 is your limit. Uh, oh, you, you do have a power suit that boosts it up to 250, but that's cheating. You can't put your power suit on. I think I'm I'm almost ready to go. If I just get it, if I get rid of this. Someone in the chat is saying, at the risk of hearing a spoiler, do you ever get to meet Sam's orthopedist? No. Okay. Though I I did have a great joke idea to interview a podiatrist about this game. <laughs> you know, have you ever been to a podiatrist, Bennett Foddy? I have never. Really? Even, even living living in New York, that's actually uh, unusual. Most people do go to a podiatrist. Oh, you're you're under. You're under. Yeah, I know. I'm, okay, I'm, I don't want to make it easy on myself. So, given the uh, the uh, the first time I ever heard the word podiatrist, I believe was on Seinfeld, as yeah, a, like a twelve right, year old. Right. Yeah. A podiatrist. So I'm like, what the heck is that? What's the foot? Everybody, this is the deal with the foot. So, uh, <laughs> the foot, right? So, I actually I need to go to a podiatrist. Yeah. I haven't ever uh, because I have a pain in my foot. That has resulted in me wearing these Batman-like shoes for like the last three months. I, I can't wear my good shoes. I can't wear my good shoes. All right, I'm ready. 
All right. Oh, you're going to discover one of my favorite fun things about the game. Which is, uh... You're going to discover one of my little favorite touches here. All right, now I can continue. Let's get out of there. All right, here we go. So you've got these items in your hands. He you just put <laughs> them down. <laughs> Why do you put them down? <laughs> because you gotta hold uh you gotta hold on to. Oh, them. I gotta hold them. The the triggers in Death Stranding control control Norman Reedus's hands. Okay, that that's this is better then. I don't have to no, I don't have to worry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so to hold something in your hand, you walk up to it and you press either the right or left trigger and he'll just grab it with his hand. Uh -huh. Right? At which point, uh, you then have to hold the trigger or he'll drop it immediately, which I, which is like really, really humorous to me. That is, that is kind of cool. And while you're holding it in your hand, you can press the square button to like, like attack someone with it as a weapon. And then if you let go of the trigger while swinging it, you should actually try this, uh, with something. There's always stuff on the ground. You can actually click the right analog stick to use a scanner. If you, or not the right, the left analog stick, sorry. That's a joke. Uh, but press the uh, the right <laughs> bumper. I gave you the wrong thing three times, I'm sorry. There you go, That's oh. this is your scanner. This reveals like where cargo and such is. Yeah, I don't care about that. I'm just trying to build this freeway out. Yeah, well, I'm just letting you know. Uh, why is the road floating in the sky? Oh, someone in the chat earlier said that they just beat getting over it with a trackpad the other day. Yeah, I, I wrote it with a trackpad. That's, uh, that's how you're supposed to play it. Yeah, well, it sounds like you're not as cool as you thought, <laughs> uh, person in the chat. I'm just kidding. That's pretty cool. All right, before I found a cool way of running in this. So this game also has, uh, there's, there's basically two groups of hostiles you engage with in this game. There's the BTs, which stands for Beached Things. I won't explain what they are. They're sort of, uh, they're sort of ghosts. Oh, you're crouching. That's the, the cheater's way. Oh, there's, there's the sprint. You're sprinting. Um, sprinting downhill. Yeah, oh, this is good. This is good. <laughs> yeah, I got this. I could be carrying more, honestly. There's one more challenge for you after you top up the highway fabricator, by the well, way. Well, I really hope I got the right stuff for it. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, you definitely didn't, but we're going to make sure. <laughs> yeah, this game owns. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. And, and this is, what we're doing right here, is we're doing just a tiny little busy work thing. And the thing is, when you do this, this is going to affect the highway for every player, like, on this shard of this game. So, like, you will see see how big the segment is when you see it on the menu? It's like, oh, I needed more, more... Oh. Just drop off everything you got. So this is what you can do in this game. And then you can actually... I, I think you can special actually... special alloys. You can top oh, it I up. I got special alloys. No, oh, don't. I don't want to do that. You can also add those chiral crystals, which you don't really have to worry about. They don't really weigh anything. So, yeah, there are two groups of hostiles you engage with. There's the BTs, which are your horror stealth segments. And then there's the mules. The mules are like these weird terrorist cultists uh, who are humans. And they're, they're the ones with the, the guns and the Metal Gear Solid sort of combat so there's all that stuff oh uh sage water dragon points out that you left the special alloys in the building you, dro no. you dropped them <laughs> i didn't want to do that all right okay how do i make him run funny he was doing thing before so when you build this road you notice there's this energy zone in the middle it doesn't use up your battery which you're not using anything with the battery power right now because we didn't we're not letting you have that but uh if you're in this energy zone People can drive vehicles down this road and not expend their vehicle's electric batteries. And building these roads, you can connect to the entire country if everybody just works together. You're running out of stamina. I don't know what that move I'm doing is. I love that hospital. Yeah, what is that move? It's like... What is that? That's just like, he's just kind of doing a power walk there. <laughs> it's like a cool way of running. Look at that. This game rules. Oh yeah, it's making his stamina sad. Okay. So yeah, I'm getting a lot of people talking about, talking about, you know, asking me if the game's actually fun. I think this is just fun as heck. 
I mean, we're not we're not even doing anything story related, as I'm saying. Uh, we're just we're just chilling in the game. We're not we're not engaging with the combat. There is ample combat in the game. Yeah, we're just I, not I guess I with feel it. like with Kojima games, I enjoy the the story. Uh, I enjoy like the kind of action, all of that stuff, but it's really just like the it's like this commitment to so many systems is so unusual. There are so many systems. You might notice a system uh, on the screen visible. Do you notice in the lower left corner the stamina system or well, this uh, this thing down there? What is? Do you, do you see the little tiny thing down there? The, uh, uh, this thing? The yellow, the yellow thing. Oh, that's his, like, foot? Yeah. I is he running out of boots? <laughs> yeah. His boots are wearing out. <laughs> yeah. well, what's going to happen if, I, if my boots run out? <laughs> You're going to find out. Well, maybe You've I'm got not. your truck nuts on, though. Did anybody watch my my tips video? Let me know in the chat. You're low on hoof thunder. <laughs> All right. I need a uh, special alloy. A classic uh, reference to one of my videos. Special alloy. Here we go. Oh, someone else knows about the truck nuts. That's good. How many of these do I can I carry? A Did bunch. you all like my copywriting in the in the tips title cards? Where I, it's uh, uh like I. Uh, <laughs> right, so someone back. asks if the tips video has some spoilers, and I actually do, kind of think. I think the tips are sort of spoilers. I would have not wanted to know them before I played the game. I think going in totally blind is really good. I think a lot of stuff in this game, meta-narratively, oh, it, it teaches you to... It, it, it It's teaching you, you know? And I, I think you're supposed to learn. I think learning is part of the, of the experience. I'm carrying too much. I gotta drop some of these special alloys. Someone says there's a shot of Mads Mikkelsen that felt spoilery. Oh come on, that's from like the very first teaser trailer with Guillermo del Toro. That's like the the trailer where they revealed that Mads Mikkelsen's in the game. I used the uh, the archetypal shot. That's not spoilery. All right, I I I've changed my boots. I'll tell you what not to do is you you change your boots. Yeah, you got your truck nuts off. Best pack a dangler, as I said, because okay. they dangle on your back. So I want to keep the thing in my left hand. I'm going to have to hold down the left. Trigger. If only there was some way to automatically ar arrange your cargo. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks fine. So you said it's my left trigger, right? To hold a thing in your arms? Yeah. yeah. So you gotta just hold those in. Oh, you put them down! I didn't want to! <laughs> Special alloys. Oh yeah, now you've got it. This is like when you got all this junk on the ground and you just got 600 What am I holding? Oh, there's resins over there. Yeah, what are you holding? Well, you're holding- that's materials. There's another materials over there, though. There's another yellow one. Special alloys, that's what I want. Cause you can, you can, you can hold something in each hand if no, you I'm, wanna- No, I'm full, look. Oh, he can't lift more? Oh, he's footballing it, he's footballing yeah, it. this is good. It's really rumbling like crazy. Oh, yeah. The controller rumbles like a god darn chainsaw. Does everybody remember there was like an article in like a magazine a long time back that was like... It was like a video game controller vibration approaches the vibration rate of chainsaws. It's like some <laughs> alarmist person was like trying to like to come for uh, they were they were They were coming at video game controller vibration like it was a... Like, like it was some kind of a... I'm going to confess to you, I usually turn it off. I usually the vibration? Do. Yeah. Yeah, I man, I remember Dragon Quest XI. No, no vibration at all. Yeah. Dragon Quest VIII had no vibration on the PS2. <laughs> so, it was not a Kotaku article, you monster in the chat. <laughs> you know what? You know what I'm oh. sick of? And I'm going to say this out loud. I'm sick of people coming in to my video comments... And saying that they wish there was a way they could subscribe just to my videos. Or uh, saying they don't like Kotaku. And that my videos are the best because I'm not uh, always about social justice or whatever. I think those people, they got to go home. And uh, they got to turn the light off. And stand in the middle of their living room with their hands anywhere but their hips. 
for just a couple minutes <laughs> is what I'm going to say about those people. It's uh, I don't think Kotaku.com is the website that 98% of the YouTuber audience thinks they are. I'm just saying. I don't think I don't think it's the exact website that you all think it is. Also, if you have an opinion, you can talk about your opinion. Just put it somewhere. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not getting in between you and your uh, and your fans here. I'm just gonna say that n nobody right, nobody actually said that in the chat. Somebody made a joke that made me. Uh, some somebody made a joke that made me remember wait, those people. Wait. I know it was a joke, you jerk. Okay, so now, the fact that you just told me to chill, you just got bunker blasted, okay? You just got straight- I'm gonna have to bunker blast you. Your- your goblin dollar balance is now negative one. Wait, wait. Do- do not ever god darn tell me to chill. <laughs> okay. Wait, am I- Mike, who- who is liking my bridge? Wait, wait, did you do it? Bennett Foddy done topped up the bridge. Wait, did you? No. No, because I didn't have my... <laughs> that was oh, crikey, good. wait. All right, all right. It here. looks like this is... Uh... I can do it now. How much did you uh, did you put in there? What? <laughs> uh, I think I might have given you an, an absolutely impossible goal what's it, here. What's it doing? It's dancing. It's doing its thing, right? It's, is it rebuilding something? Okay, so I believe what has happened is you've put enough in there to uh establish it as yours okay but not so to build the road that's good i guess well, what else have you what have you not put in there rebuild the roads oh you don't have any of the materials i um, want more metals and uh, that, that is is it just me or is it really hard to read that font up there do i am i not carrying any metals or ceramics i don't think so check your cargo in your cargo menu okay Yes, uh, oh, we've got Cecilia in the chat. Uh, yes, he's wearing a trucker hat because he's pretty much a future trucker. You can actually get... I don't want to spoil too much, but you can get trucks in this game. And the trucks driven by the mule dudes in this game... Holy lord. The best looking truck in video games. We're, we're over at Action Button Entertainment making a video game called Truck Heck. That's literally about, uh, about pickup trucks. And... The pickup truck driven by the mules in Death Stranding left me flabbergasted. It let me speechless. So yeah, yeah, that is true. American Truck Simulator fans, actually, this game is the most. So I, I said is that, this. Is that the same as Euro Truck? Uh, is it? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, yeah. It's it's the same. I've, I've played Euro Truck. It's the same vibe. So it's like, it it it's. When I said in my review that this this re game represents Kojima closing out the decade of the 2010s with so many 2010s greatest hits, he has hammered on the greatest hits in this of this decade. He came through with his own spin on Minecraft, his own spin on Dark Souls. Again, yes, yeah, sorry, I just mentioned Dark Souls. Deal with it. I'm smart enough to mention Dark Souls. You don't have to yell at me in the chat. So, like... I th he's he's and he's closing it out with his own spin on the uh, all of those weird sort of janky early access survival games. Right. You know stuff like Goat Simulator, Truck Simulator. He's just it's just this loving embrace of clearly this man has paid attention, and I know that Kojima does play a lot of video games. I know that he's oh you're just Wait. you've now you've now committed the uh, my the, baby's crying. Your baby is crying. Can you hold your controller speaker up to the microphone and let people hear? Does everybody hear that? <laughs> that is pretty good. All right. Well, I I, I love it. I, I'm uh, I'm kind of cheating for a second because I'm only carrying like 60 kilograms of. So what was the thing you needed 2,000 of? Was uh, that we, chiral crystals? No, it was either metal or ceramics. God, if you need 2,000 of something, that's a god darn lot. Okay. Here's here's what I'm gonna do. First you gotta all, just you gotta just build these roads. I want I'm suggesting this to everyone in the chat as a rite of passage. When you get to this chapter in the game, just take a couple hours of your life to build one of these roads. Because I didn't do it. And by the end of the game, as the narrative is just hammering my brain, 
I kept thinking, I wish I'd done more. I wish I'd helped the players who are playing this after me more. I wish I'd, I wish I'd done more for them. And it's just this remarkable, miraculous magic trick that this game pulls off. And I love it. All right, here we go. Uh, I need, I think, 2,000 metal and a bunch of ceramic. This will take 600. <laughs> this might be more than one trip right here. Yeah, um, I might have stuck you with the old uh, Mission Impossible up in here. <laughs> That's all right. And the thing is, though, if you do this, it's going to be usable by all other players. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's exciting. Okay. Yeah, well, not all other players. All other players in your nebulously defined little weird shard. You know? I always forget to do this at the beginning of the stream. If you if you have something funny, if you see something you like, just make a highlight. Okay. Or not a highlight. Make a, what's it called? A one. A clip. 700. If people would make more clips, I could just make videos out of my clips. Wait, so somebody in the stream, tell me uh, tell me how many medals I need. Anybody remember? We've got uh we've got we've got one of my one of my friends. My pen pal in the chat is asking, uh, can you get through this game just doing deliveries or building stuff or are the BTs kind of a big deal? You like so you it has a Dark Souls ish uh, notification system where you can leave notes for players and you can actually say there's BTs in this area and you'll see signs you can actually see them on the map once you have connected a node like to the network you can see locations of other players signs so you can actually just look at the end game map and scan around and then see if someone's left a sign that says BTs here you'll know like generally where BTs are showing up and uh you can look at the weather report to see where the rain is. The BTs only show up in the rainy zones. They don't always show up in every rainy zone. So you can actually plot routes completely around where BTs are. So that's neat. I mean, that's, uh, that's a heck of a thing. Wait. If I want to recycle all of this... Don't recycle. <laughs> I'm going to. <sighs> <laughs> there we go. All right. So I recycled a bunch. Yeah. Now, I, how much metal do I have? Not enough. You've got enough in general. You're you're really taking this seriously. This is good. So we're just uh, if you're just tuning in, we are we have thrown Bennett Foddy into the deep end of this game, and we're asking him to complete an optional task of gregariousness to top up a 3D printing highway fabricator auto paver to generate a highway segment that many players can experience. You're not actually in the deepest deep end. We're in the, the least spoilery deep end I could I could uh, acquire from a save file. Okay, so I want... I need more metals. Well, it didn't seem like recycling netted me very many. So it's like I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be 100% real. People are constantly asking me about what I think of the negative reviews. And I love that there's negative reviews. I think it's I think it's amazing. Because don't we usually get these big AAA... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say it. These big AAA games are all too safe. Right? Yeah, I mean, I agree. I agree. Like, uh, well, not the, all of them. I mean, that's not, it's not totally true. I, okay, sure, sure. But, there's like you've got Days Gone and you've got The Last of Us. They're kind of just uh, slightly different versions of each other. Yeah, I mean they're they're good games. I think you tend to get games that come from mods that are uh, are not as safe. Yeah, well I'm talking big AAA, right? Yeah. Thank you for your big AAA. Even God of War. I loved that God of War game. I I loved that Spider-Man game. They were very safe. Yeah. This game is uh, definitely not. This is not safe at all. It is It is not outlined, and the, the game design document was not written in a Google Docs tab in a Chrome window that also has several IGN reviews open and other yeah, tabs. Yeah, I mean, there's two ways to make a game like this. You can either do it by yourself on zero money, and once it's done, or close to done, you can try to you can try to get a publisher on, on board like once they can see that it's cool. Yeah, this is totally a Steam Early Access style game but it's so I just want to say it is so richly 
realized. Right. Or you can make commercial games for 30, 35 years, and then, I guess, go to Sony and say, well, you just trust me. It'll be good. Yeah, which is uh, what Kojima did. He had yeah. no no staff, no uh, no engine. Right. He uses the Decima engine. <sighs> the Decima engine by uh, Guerrilla Games. Herman Hulst is now the head of Sony Worldwide Studios. You see all that? No, I did not. Yeah, he's been... Uh, is he from Guerrilla Games? He's the Guerrilla Games guy, yeah. Oh, wow. Guerrilla Games CEO. Horizon Zero Dawn is pretty safe, but I played the first, like, two hour of it, and, uh, I, two hours of it, and I, I sort of loved it. I had a good time with that game. Yeah, I kind of am thinking of popping back into it. I wonder if it's going to run at 60 FPS on the PS5, though. Yeah, I mean, 100%. It, it all, runs, all games are going to be yeah. 60. What, do, do you, uh, have you been briefed on the PS5? I have not been briefed. I've not been read in. Oh, neither have I. I, w I will say this. Uh, oh. oh. I don't like that, uh, warning light. That's a good uh, one. I will say this. I'm going to confess to you, I don't like 60 frames per second. Nah, well, that just means you're a punk. <laughs> I mean, Getting over it's 60 frames per second. Uh, it depends. It <laughs> depends. But yeah, no, you have to make things... Six, everybody likes 60. I get, I get it. And I'm not going to try to rob people of their 60 frames uh, per second if they if they want it. But Sure, sure. Uh, for me, I just, I just don't like it. You tell me you would rather play Call of Duty at 30 FPS? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not ever going to have more than a, like a 0 0.1 KD. In oh, so you're saying you prefer 144? <laughs> so, like, <laughs> like, I'm always like, I play, I'll play like um, Counter Strike with friends, and, and they will attest to this. Uh, you know, I'll, and, I, and they'll look at my score. I'll be playing for a while, I'll be letting the team down, and they'll be like, <laughs> what's your, uh, what's your uh, FOV setting? What's your FOV setting? And I'm like, oh, I don't know, like 60, <laughs> 60. I'm like, they're like, yeah, you might want to try, uh, you might want to try setting a wild, wider FOV. I'm like, no, then I'll get motion sick. And they're like, why? Oh God, I love that and then wide I, and, FOV. And then, I, I'm, and then I'm, I'm like, well, you know, I'm, I'm playing this on the couch, on the TV. I've got the mouse on the couch, on the cushion of the couch. <laughs> Pro style, <laughs> yeah. You just making like, a making a Bennett Foddy and challenge for yourself. It's though. like that, you know. It's not the FOV. I promise you. You've got you, not. You've got not, a the, you've got a keyhole FOV. You've got thirty frames per second. Uh, you're, yeah, it's not why I keep shooting and missing. It's you know, not the FOV. It's it literally everything else about my setup. Just to point out in the chat, someone asked, "Is this on PS4 Pro?" Yes, we are playing on a PS4 Pro. This is in the boosted mode. You're only seeing it in 1080p. We're, we've got it in 4K here. Using our Elgato HD 60s Plus. Well, you know the other thing about it is that my eyes are not 4K 60. Someone says uh, 180 FOV with 144 hertz <laughs> is the ideal <laughs> FPS. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I put my FOV on like 178 or so. It's usually. <laughs> um, All right, I'm not going to be able to get enough medals. I'm worried about that. Okay, let's just. Wait, see. how many more medals do you need? Uh, more. You know, there's a place you can get them actually. Really. This is where I dramatically point this out. It's it should be yeah exactly right on time. About I was gonna think I was thinking of doing this at about two thirty. There are terrorists known as mules, and all they do in their life they live to hoard cargo. Okay. And they have camps. One is located very near where you are right now. <laughs> so if you can sneak in there, I'm gonna have you to. can steal huge amounts of materials. You might want to bring a weapon though. Okay. All right. Uh, smoke grenade. Uh. I would bring. I would. I would see about getting yourself a gun. Okay. You can make a gun. I think there is one sitting here. You recycled all the guns. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, uh, let's get a blood bag. And by the way, everyone, I did notice that Bennett Foddy said his eyes can't see sixty frames per second. Uh, I, I did notice that. I let it go because uh, I was trying to think of. I Maybe had like, a gun in the private locket. You know, I, I actually am in the in the midst of talking to. I actually I talked to a neuro ophthalmologist today, and I asked him uh, if he would be willing to go on record with a quote about what's better, frame rate or a resolution. <laughs> oh, I can't read. I can't. So I actually asked a retina specialist what the frame rate of the human eye is, and you know what he said? What? He responded instantly. <laughs> he goes. I'm, I'm like, what's the refresh rate? You mean like refresh rate like on a on like an LCD display? I'm like, oh my god, this guy is this guy rules. And he gave me an immediate answer. And what was it? We'll see if I reveal that. Like, th what's my video gonna be? His he 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 like he he looked 
at the ceiling and he looked down. He said, he looked at the ceiling and goes, you mean like on an LCD display? And I went, yeah. And then he looked down and he said, it's probably about like 300. 300. Yeah. So there you go, everybody. That's a new, that's a god darn retina specialist. But that's that's in your uh, your focus like in yeah. the area fo- that you're focused on. Yeah, well, his, he's a specialist in the macula, so uh, specialist in the macula. All right, I got a hematic grenade. I think I'm ready to go. <laughs> a hematic? No, there's no other gun. That's it. That's uh, you can no. You go to, you go to the terminal and you can buy them. I can buy them. Yeah. Okay. Right. You go to the terminal. I'm just doing this to humor you. I would have just gone with the grenade and the punch. That's like because the hematic grenade is made of your blood. It's made of blood. Okay. That doesn't really. Uh, that, I mean, yeah. it would freak them out, but it wouldn't. Uh, it's not really going to hurt them. I've been drenched in blood before. What's that blue bar that keeps filling up in the middle of the screen? Is that my stamina? Anyway, yeah, your eyes, your yeah, that's 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 your stamina. Yeah. Oh man, it has been to so your stamina actually. Do you notice it has three levels of, uh, or it has three layers of abstraction on it? There's there's like the max stamina, which can be damaged by certain activities, and so, it has to be so restored. Wait, I can't I can't buy anything. There's nothing. Someone in the chat is asking, has my boy got macular degeneration? No, um, apparently I have a, I have I have optic neuritis. Can you, a little fun fact for everybody. Can you, can you take a second just to... Yeah, what you got? What, I can't buy anything. Oh, it, you don't buy it. It's the future. It's Star Trek. You fabricate it. Yeah. yeah but then there, there was nothing. There oh, I've got to do this. This. Okay. All right. Fine. So I went to see that movie Gemini Man in 120 frames per second. And let me tell you, the bowler gun is what you want. I'm just letting... I'm just yeah, spoiling okay, right, it. I got it. I got it. You might want to bring two of them. I'm, I'm just saying. You might want to... No, we'll we'll make put it, it on your tool rack. Oh, okay, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to just go ahead and. Uh, Wait, where did I put it? On my back. Seems like I should have it on my tool rack. Yeah, I have I have recurring optic neuritis. Is is what uh, is happening to me? Someone asked, "Do you think it's from the car wreck when you were a kid?" No. Is it from pouring? It's it's, uh, from, it's from something else. Is it from pouring Jello powder in your eyeball? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so I can get my gun. I'm going to say by maybe maybe it works like... Uh, oh, there we go. All right. Okay. Man on fire in the chat. Uh, you're pretty close. I'm just going to... I'm not going to talk too much more about this. Uh, you can delete that if you want. Um, yeah, this game is at 30 FPS. So, someone was saying, is it worth buying a PS4 for this game? Um, I mean, if you... Here's... Okay, I'm... Wait, help I'm, me find a terrorist. Help me find a terrorist. Oh, look on your map. Open up your map. Uh, so, zoom it out a bit. Where are they? Okay, you see that yellow? Oh, anywhere. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a truck! So, if you want to waypoint yourself there... Oh, look, you've discovered the mapping feature. Did you know you can do multiple segments on that? No, I'm, I'm just going to go in a straight you can, line. You can do, like, snaking. Yeah, I mean, you might as well try a straight line. So you got yourself a gun, just like the, the Sopranos. And uh, i never forget I walked out uh, in the, uh, the Union Square a while back, and there was a... Uh, there was a guy... There were these two guys playing chess. <laughs> You know, the guy, okay, this is this is a story that amuses me. Um, there were these two guys playing chess at a table in Union Square Park, and uh, uh, they had a little Bluetooth speaker on on the chess board, and they were just listening to the Sopranos theme song on loop. <laughs> it's like such an awful song. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like if you've ever heard the full version of if you haven't ever heard the full version of the song, get ready to go bonkers. Do you uh, think that's because they had it stuck in their head and they just like that was they were just like trying it was, to treat it? It was too like serious old timers. Sometimes, they were they were old timers. Sometimes I mean you and I are old timers. Woke up this well they were they were like they were like senior citizens I guess I'm saying. And and, and oh look at that drop off in that line there. This is how I'm gonna run from now on in real life. Okay, I'm gonna just say you do not want to go down that hole. <laughs> there, <laughs> some of the bridge. Okay. So if you see this bridge, all the bridges that you see in the game were built by other human oh, players. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it's the only way. To, is somebody put a P sign under the bridge? What is that? 
There's like a sign under the bridge. God, Captain Dong says 212,792 likes on this bridge. So you actually auto like a bridge every time you cross it. Oh, really? So when you get you to the other end. You can't be like, oh, you, I hate You can this like it, it every more. Day. It's like Steam reviews where it's like 1,500 hours played. Someone says, is this game worth the full price? What kind of question is that? It's a new Hideo Kojima game in the year 2019. I mean, it's... It, it is what it is, buddy. Uh, I mean, it's it's a, it's a giant, massive, 80-hour-long game with dozens of hours of bizarre labyrinthine cutscenes in it. You know, the, it is a weird time, though. There are so many games coming out yeah, this there's month a lot of and them. last month, and there's like Apple Arcade, you can, have five, you, know, free, you can have a free month of more games than you can possibly play. Yeah. Uh, I mean, at this point in time... It's like, it's like it's, do you it's, want this now? Is the like question. the games are good. It's never it's never been truer that games are worth sixty dollars. All I want is that god darn Star Wars it's game. True, but but you know games. It's oh, like, you you've been detected by the mules. That's what that yellow flash that's was. Fine. You didn't stealth your way in. You but, could have easily stealthed your way to their camp, but now you're on the other side of a ravine. They know where you are. That's all right. I can walk around the ravine. Oh, do you hear this music? Yeah. Did you know the music composed by Ludwig Forsell? Did you know that he's Helen Mirren's stepson? That's why I saw Helen Mirren at a party the other night. Oh, jeez. He's coming after me. Just letting everyone know that. Oh, no. This is not Chiverch's, no. The Chiverch's song plays later. I call them Chiverch's. I know it's not pronounced that way. So, the question is, how does one equip a gun? Oh, I thought I had equipped it. Oh, well, you do have it equipped. Weird. That's... You're pressing the left bumper? to try to aim a gun? Oh, you got him! Yeah. Right. So the Bola gun, uh, do you see the reticle is uh, really neat? Does it shoot Ebola? Oh, do, you see, do you see that? Wait, what I was trying to get at is... see all the cargoes? Is, um... You know, I think this game is worth $60. And, yeah. in fact, I just paid $60 for it this morning. It's, so you were it's downloading you over my internet onto my PS4. Good old Manhattan internet. You got that. And now that bit. now that I'm playing it, now that you've dropped me into this like random part of the, I, I'm sure that that was the right decision. On the other hand, yeah, you know, I would pay you sixty dollars. Well, he's got ceramics on him for another game to not have to play it because there's so many games right now. Do you know what I mean? It's like yeah, it's worth oh, sixty dollars to like not have another game. <laughs> so right I, now. I I actually think I've got. Oh my God! There's a truck. Do you see it? Okay, see, it's loaded up with cargo. So, I, you, you want to save those. Okay. <laughs> get up get up closer to them. All right, all right. You can actually punch these dudes out. You can punch them out pretty heavy. Let them get off. You want this truck. I find this truck incredibly beautiful. Can I get onto the truck? Yeah, yeah, but they're going to they're gonna incapacitate oh, hematic you. hematic grenade. They took your hematic grenade? They knocked it off of you? Shoot them. Or punch them. Yeah, yeah, you got it. We'll see, you see. Be a fist to cuffy and get up in here. So uh, someone else asked in the chat a couple minutes ago. It's like, how many games do you think are going to get PS5 remakes uh, when the PS5 comes out? Mark Cerny said at the PS4 announcement in 2013, he straight up said that they were dedicated to forward compatibility. That's why they'd gone with a PC style architecture. Mm -hmm. So in other words, the PlayStation 5 is going to be pretty much the Xbox One X to the PlayStation 4 Pro, right? Do you under this is what I understand. This is what I'm predicting. It's not a prediction. This is like based on what Cerny said all those years ago. So in other words, every game is just gonna look better. So in other words, or it's not they're gonna they're not all gonna look better. It's gonna be like a PS4 Pro upgrade, except jacked up to the max. Uh, which is why they're showing Spider-Man and all their their behind closed doors demos. So you've incapacitated a lot of these guys. You can just grab their medals now. Where are their medals? Well, they're, they're just uh, dropped by their... Well, okay, so what mules have, they have a post box in the mule camp. Get that guy. Get that. He's going to shoot you. He's going to shoot you. I love that reticle, that horizontal line reticle. I think it's incredible. It's like something I think the bola gun in this game is, is like a comically great gun. And the slow motion effect when an enemy gets roped. It's the sort of thing I love. So, see, they all carry basically bridge or... Uh, Structure building stuff. Kick that guy. I'm trying to. Due to complicated plot things, you can't just kill people because killing people is dangerous. You're uh, you're out. 
you have another bowl of gun to no, equip? I didn't take your advice. Oh, you didn't take my... Did not take my advice. So what I'm guessing is that if you play this game on... Like, people are saying, are they going to move The Last of Us 2 to PS5? It's like, no, I just think if you get The Last of Us 2 on PS5, it's just going to look better. It's just going to run better. It's going to be like The Last of Us 1's PS4 remake that... Or remaster that uh, happened with Curious Speed. I really, I just really think that if you buy this game now, then when you play it on a PS5, you're going to get 60 FPS. I'm just guessing that. Again, who can say, get him. Punch him out and I'll steal his truck. Oh, there's stuff in the truck too. There's stuff in the truck. Oh, they've shocked the truck. The truck cannot be manipulated now. Why did he shock his own truck? Because he uh, he tried to shock you. Once the truck is unshocked, which will be in a minute, you should be able to steal it. I love this truck. This truck is beautiful to me. So yes, everyone, we've done it. We are showing you the combat in Death Stranding. I think it's pretty good. I think the weapons are good. We've only we've only shown the bola gun. There's, and I actually think so. Someone, I was someone was asking a minute ago or an hour ago about the negative reviews. Uh, I think rushing through this game was a nightmare. Playing 80 hours of this game in one week was really, really difficult to do. And uh, but that's, that's could, all I have to say. You'd rather play it in in short stints. Yeah, I think playing it in short bursts. Did you die? No. How dare you? These guys are all they're they're very very gentle, very doily dainty. They don't. Uh, they're not really hurting you that much. Special alloys, more special alloys. So I want that I want metals. They're they're on high alert and they're going to keep showing up. I think you take the mulligan here. What? You can actually load the cargo onto the truck, which I I'm just going to drive it away. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You know how to drive. Uh don't drive it off the edge. Look at that beautiful truck. I mean, it's all rusted. When they're when they're brand new, they look incredible. I don't know how their truck got all rusted. What happened to them? All right, I still don't think I've got any medals. We're gonna find out. That is a good-looking truck, for God's sake. Brent Porter, Michael Kerwin, are you watching? This is the truck I wanted to show you. I told them there's wait, there's a there was a bike over there. But you don't need it. Somebody left a bike. Players can leave bikes. They're not bikes. They're trikes. The reverse trikes. Okay. Which are like more... Like two wheels at the front. Yeah, they're more ergonomic. Oh, you can roll the truck too. Okay. You can also boost with the truck. They don't do that right now. You can actually jump with the truck too. You can drive it right into that distro center too. Can I recycle it? I think so, yeah. Let's find out. Just recycle this big old rusty thing. You got to park it on that circle. I'm just going to tell you. You park it on the circle and then all the cargo that's in it becomes accessible to you. <laughs> it jumps. <laughs> that's good. Heck yeah. All right. <laughs> Two motorcycles with a little house in the middle. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. All right, let's see if I can get some. Look at the coffee grounds at the bottom of this cup. You see this? Yeah, you've... Uh, That's what I got to deal with all day. I got a chewable coffee. You, you've... Uh, the bubblicious of coffee here. Right, okay. At Kotaku HQ. Claim materials. That's not what I want. Who? I just realized I still do not have my close vision. I just tried to look at my phone. Cannot see. Got darn nothing. All right, I got no, There's no, like, in trucks section here. Oh yeah, there is. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I was I was misreading. Let's let's take a look. Truck. Okay, mule boots. Recycle. Special alloys. Recycle. God, I cannot see. I cannot see my phone right now. Should I recycle more special alloys? What happens if I recycle them? What do I get? Do I get money? Oops. Well, Tim, you uh, you really sold me a bill of goods there because I went and I killed all the guys. I got their truck. 
I still got no medals. Yeah, you uh, you didn't. I don't want to. I don't want to disparage another man's technique, but you didn't do it right. <laughs> You were supposed to sneak through the weeds, snake along the edge, and then they have these uh, these post boxes. If you look at the map, you can see there's a post box that you can just, you open it up, and it's just full of stuff. There's just no metals. Yeah, but you were getting it from them. You're supposed to steal from their little warehouse. Oh, okay, all right, okay, all right. So you might have to sleep for the night, which you can do by going in here. In here? Step there, there's a... Well, I want to let you go in your private room. Because there's a truck on it. No, it should let you... Oh, the truck isn't perfectly situated on there. Oh, uh, okay. All right. It should let you keep the truck. I get out of the... Oh, wait, I think you can't take the truck down. Okay. You can only take your own... I don't understand the way the trucks work. Is this truck going to be gone when I when I wake up? No, it should still be there. This game is quite sanctimonious about leaving stuff there. So we're gonna we're gonna let Norman Reedus take a nap. You can let him take a dump if you want. <laughs> I didn't let him take a dump for like the last half of the game, because I was hoping he would go. I gotta take a dump <laughs> at some point, and then he never did. I said that in my review. Someone in the chat is saying anybody paid attention when uh, Galyankin from Epic Games visited Tokyo? No. Um, what? <laughs> Is this a new controversy? Do I have to check out the new controversy? Yeah, I, I cannot see. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Sam. Look at the weird low frame rate in here. Uh, when you rotate the camera around, there's like a... It's got this kind of like weird filmic frame rate. That's what I want. I like how he fell asleep with the trucker hat on. Oh, you can look at your little things. Oh, that's cool. You can go ahead and leave the room now, if you would like. Can I? Can I, though? Why does he have handcuffs on one arm? That's his, yeah, as someone points out in the chat, that's his phone. That's their future phone. <laughs> that's so, really funny. So, yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's actually a handcuff <laughs> that you, you, it's called a cuff link. They explain, oh, drink a monster, slam should, a monster. It should be more like a chain, like it's like a shackle. Like, like that's like, that's the shackle. level of imagery you can expect from Kojima. Like, look at those that, nylon though. pants. so funny. I love those those tech fleece, tech nylon. Yeah, your your phone is a handcuff. He has, Except you're cuffing, you cuff it to yourself. Kojima has, it's, I think, one of the best senses of humor in, in AAA. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and reveal the Kojima anecdote. Uh... So I want I want you to go you go back to that mule camp, and get yourself stock up on a couple more guns. But you want to sneak in there, do what Solid Snake would do. Okay. You can you can sneak in. How many more medals do you need to upgrade this thing? A, a ton. Like, <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, I can't. No, you didn't. Lose, he didn't lose the hat. It's just uh, he takes the hat off when he uh, sleeps. So you just have to put it back on. You have no materials. I have no materials. It's fine. I'll just sneak in. Stealth. Non-violent. Oh, so you do have something. Uh, hold right on the uh, D-pad. And then click the right stick. You have something called... Oh, you do have an extra bullet gun. I, okay. You do have the thing down, in the, down at the bottom, down there. That's a strand. So you can actually tie dudes up if you sneak up on them. And you can also urinate on them. Yeah. You only have 60 mils, though, because you didn't slam a monster. <laughs> to put the hat on, press press up on the D-pad. Well, wait. I'm trying to figure out how to urinate first. Oh, you can't do it inside. It's rude. <laughs> they won't let you do it in, indoors. All right. Fine. Okay. You know, I actually discovered that if you urinate on a, a BT, it dies. Uh, I discovered that while I was playing, and then I didn't post it because... I didn't put it in my video because I thought it was a spoiler. And then Hideo Kojima just tweeted it today. So... <laughs> He's like, ha ha, look. I'm glad someone figured it out. I'm like, God darn it. Yeah. It's very, very hard to do unless you get... There's a very specific situation where you can... Uh, at which point, there's really no reason to even kill the BT. Uh, so there's, there, there's like, if you've evaded it all the way, you can just kind of turn around. and It's difficult. It's extremely difficult to do it. So at a helpful there's time. more of these there's, there's more stuff inside of their base there is but you were right now you were in their zone right now so you were in their zone yeah, i'm definitely in their zone 
Oh wait, can you uh, stop? Just stop for a second and rotate the camera around. You see that I can do yellow zone things. back there? There's, you're gonna go off the. Don't go off the goddamn edge in that truck. I've driven a truck before, dude. So you see that that yellow zone back there is uh, someone is building a safe house, which you don't really need here. So yeah, in their tents they have stuff. Whoa, they're all dead over there. Yeah, they all came. Yeah, look. Oh, look, there's some medals right there. That's you were carrying those. Those are yours. <laughs> Maybe there'll be metal. So, so there's there's uh, the objective that you. Oh, there's a. Whoa, that's a brand new truck. Yeah, that looks better than my truck. I actually like this rusty heck truck here. I love the. Does, there it is. Oh it, my god, it it's beautiful. I'm, I'm still looking for metals there. Yeah, so they have various objects in their tents, and uh, they have something called a post box that you can open up the post box. Wait, so they're all incapacitated. You've completely incapacitated them. You have full run of the place. So here's what I'm going to recommend. Is find their post box. Okay. You might want to look on the map for it. IDK. Mm. You find their post box or their warehouse and then just... I can't read any of these. Uh, that looks like a post box. Yeah, I think that is it. My eyes are messed up. I'm sorry. Okay. Is this game like Rust? Someone asks... Yes, yeah, sort of. Yeah, that's the post box. Yeah, 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 this is it, this is it. Okay, you should be able to get, grab some stuff. All right, they really love their special alloys. That's all they got. That's all, <laughs> that's all they got. Uh, <laughs> underwear. I got Alex Weatherstone's underwear. Oh, uh, yeah, take it. Uh, I got monster figurines. Yeah, I don't know. Do they not have god darn medals? Can you go trade those special alloys for metals? I, I don't I don't know. We've spent all of our metals, uh You've uh, yeah, you you really uh <laughs> you were like they'll definitely have metals that they're like, nope. That's how special I got metals. alloys. When I played this game, I got metals. Maybe you got them all. Ah, crikey. Well, looks like I done really done you in. All right, I've got a thousand milliliters of Oh, no, 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 that's... How much? It's 63. You've made... you got a thousand milliliters of blood. Can he not urinate when he's only got... You're holding your breath. <laughs> you can kill him by holding... <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. I thought I would... I, I sat down and brainstormed, like, what are the most viral videos I can do about this game, and I thought, how long does it take for Sam Porter Bridges to die by holding his breath? Because it's only you're gonna start losing your. Uh... <laughs> Cardiac. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I was speechless. I was like, is it gonna happen? All right. So how do I? Is Sam Porter Bridge? Well, he turns die? away from the camera. Yeah, he won't let you look at his. Uh... His, uh, his urinating device. The baby doesn't like it. Oh, anyway, let me tell you my Kojima story. Okay, Are you go. ready for this? Yeah, yeah, go. I walked up to Kojima at this party, and I said, Hey, do we shop at the same glasses store? Um, and he, he just turned to look at me and goes, Probably not. And then he goes, Oh, I think so, actually. <laughs> Just immediately replying with, absolutely, oh, actually, uh, <laughs> he's like, oh, uh-oh. So he got punked. And was then, that the greatest moment of and your then, life? It and was, then, wasn't it? Oh, it was pretty good. And then he laughed. He laughed. And then I said, so, did you work on this game? And uh, he laughed again. And then I said, uh, did you want to get your picture taken with me? <laughs> and then he laughed a third time. So, in short, Kojima has a great sense of humor. Yeah. He laughed really hard at the did you work on this game line. <laughs> so, if you ever wondered how full of himself Kojima is, I mean, I don't know. I think everybody I've known who has worked directly with him says that he is uh, just a hilarious guy. And I mean, I've met him, in, but I, I met him as an interviewer. So I didn't, I, I never worked with him. So it was... Uh, and for what it's worth, thank God he did not remember me. Why would he have remembered me, right? This is like that 
dream where you need to go to the bathroom. But you can't? And you do, but it doesn't, like, your bladder does not empty out. I was I was at the doctor and they're like you got to do a urinalysis. We're gonna need to do a urinalysis test. I'm like I'm like okay. And I took the cup. And have you ever shout me out in the comments if you've ever done this? And I took it in to the bathroom, and I just like I just wienered out into the the toilet. And I'm like ah like I'd been saving it up for like hours. And then I'm like I got the cup like sitting on top of the toilet. And I'm like oh well. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go out and, and, and the lady's like the lady's like uh, you just place the cup in that basket there I'm like actually uh, I just kind of forgot about the cup and she just looked at me and just blinked and she's like well you can wait here until you have to go again and I was like okay and I sat there and waited for like <laughs> I waited for like an hour it's like the reverse the reverse of the nightmare look, look somebody said uh, they did it too yeah, yeah, that's great. Excellent. Okay, uh, I, do you think I can make this jump? This seems a small jump. I would try to I try to run a little bit okay. before doing right. so. Oh! Oh, daddy's dead. Oh my god, that should not have happened. <laughs> but it did. <laughs> Alright, okay. Ha! Ah. <laughs> I gotta say, if that had happened to me in real life... I would have made more than one milliliter of urine. You know what I wanted to say to uh, to Norman Reedus? Uh, yet I didn't. I did not say it to Norman Reedus, though. I wanted to. I wanted to say, you know, it's kind of weird to meet you in person because I just spent like 80 hours not letting you use the bathroom. <laughs> and the game does such a good job of humanizing the protagonist. He feels like a person. Right. Right? Like, I mean, you're, you're not seeing too much of it, but it's like, he complains about when he's carrying heavy stuff. He's like, oh my God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> like, and it's like, it's like really, really over the top and interesting in a way I've kind of always wanted the protagonist of a game to be like this yeah. humanized. Yeah, right? I love that. I like it in uh, Mario, uh, Super Mario games, uh, the 3D ones. When, oh, where when, he's just. When he's like harmed, when he's. <sighs> when he's and he's still, you're still making him jump. That was my Mario. And he's like trying to do like, woohoo, wah-ha-ha. But he's like, he's also <laughs> got to be tired. <laughs> wahoo! And that like, there's a, there's a, there's just a Super Mario Galaxy voice clip that I hunted down. I hunt and pecked. I achieved it. I downloaded it from a, uh-oh, it's begun to rain. Might we bad? be about to experience some BT action? What are those, those glowing lights in the yeah, distance? Yeah, that's where I'm going. It's a time fall shelter. Uh, so, yeah, there's there's just this voice sample. The truck has been damaged. Your truck is getting uh, rained on, so the rain is damaging it. Oh, it's like heavy uh, heavy rain. It's it's more like chubby rain. <laughs> Shout me out in the comments if you love rain world. the the film. Rain World is a great game. Everybody should play that. Have you played it? Rain World's cool. Yeah, I've uh, I've messed around in it. If you like games that set you back and make you redo stuff a lot. Oh, this game really sets you which, back. Which, 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 I mean, I do. I yeah. like, legitimately do love that. Uh, Rain World is great. <laughs> uh, I like you know you know what this game doesn't set back though is the medium. Uh, it <laughs> 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 oh wait, I, I forgot the first part of that, that sentence. Was, that it was, was going to be so this game bad. sets you back really far when you die. However, it does not set back the medium. Someone is asking if you can feed him some computer beef. Somebody else is saying that Bowfinger did not age well. Yeah, maybe not, but uh, uh, that movie's good and weird, man. Mindhead? <laughs> yeah, welcome to Mindhead. <laughs> You've seen Bowfinger? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Not a whole lot of people have seen that. His dream is just to get a FedEx package. So it's actually... <laughs> his, like, his dream is that one day the FedEx guy is going to walk up and give him a package. See, this... This game right here, this is the genre you should make if you're doing a castaway license. Yeah. Well, this game does... So we're, again, for anybody just tuning in, we've spent this whole stream just dinking around, not touching the story, barely touching combat. We begrudgingly involved you in the combat. Uh, barely touching the combat. And it's just... Uh, there's just so many systems... 
taped on to this, uh... Oh, yeah, give it some chiral crystals. Power it up. How many more metals did you need for that thing? Uh, I don't know. Hundreds. Uh, hundreds, if not tens of thousands. <laughs> hundreds, if not tens of thousands. I'm not a quitter. I, I'm still trying. I can like it. All right. It's all right, everybody. It's fine. <laughs> I'm playing this pretty well, you gotta admit. I have not died yet. Yeah, you're actually doing uh, remarkably well. So it's actually not... Uh, this is not as big of like a fail stream as we thought it was going to be. Yeah, you should have uh, you should have given me a harder uh... I've been falling over in video games since 2008, you know. Yeah, we should uh we should get you to play co-op. Maybe we can do a whole co-op stream. You know, it's coming up on the end of the decade here, right? Are you uh what what do you what do you, would you think of the games of the decade? What, what? do you think's the best game of this decade? Best game of this decade. Yeah, I thought I thought it was weird, like people putting Minecraft on the list. Like that's an important game, but it came out in two thousand nine. It's that just, is true. It's just not in this decade. It is Anybody not. Anybody who decade. puts that on their list, come on. Uh, most important game of the decade. You know, it's tough to say. It's tough to say. I've got so many things that I would like to choose. Uh. It's it's different if you want to pick like the most emblematic of the decade, than if you want to just pick the best game. Uh, the best game is Dark Souls. <laughs> sorry, is just, that what you're saying? It's not a cool thing to say. No, but um, it, it's just it just is. I'm sorry, that's just so, the best game. So uh, I don't want to reveal what my game of the decade is because I'm doing a whole video about it. Uh, I'm doing a whole video about my games of the decade, and I'm I'm lavishing a lot of care on it. Oh, I will say Dark Souls is on there, and I will say it's very high. Yeah, it's a good game. I can show you with a number of fingers where Dark Souls is. Do not reveal this to the chat. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I have just shown <laughs> Bennett showed Foddy. A, you showed me a number of fingers. I showed Bennett Foddy a number of fingers, of yeah. which, uh, did I have to put my phone down to show the number of fingers? We don't know. I might have. I've got my phone back in my hand. Is now. that is that cargo gone forever once I... No, I can get it again. I can get it back. It, it can break. Can I break the baby? The rain can... Yeah, the baby can... Uh, the baby can actually explode. Does the baby represent my life? The baby represents just the, the future generations. Oh, so it, it, it's... It's uh, it's the king. Oh. Yeah, it's little baby David or whatever his name is. Right. Your baby is stressed. Your baby is barking like a dog out of that PlayStation <laughs> controller speaker right now. All right. Someone is asking for my PayPal link in the chat. It's it's action button. PayPal.me slash action button. I don't know. Am I allowed to say that during a... I do get paid Michael, by this job, Michael by D. The way. McGrath said it's either Minecraft. It's not Minecraft. Minecraft is the previous decade. Minecraft is 2009, yes. Spelunky... Spelunky is, is also, also like, like 2008 or yeah, 7 or something. Yeah, 2008. Yeah. Yeah. Spelunky, oh, the Xbox version, whatever, yeah. no. Yeah, you, you can come up with a better game. For the, I'm going to, well, here's some actual, uh, we got, we got real, we got, this is the real game right here. Yeah, I, I had, I had you in a nice little protected zone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just go, go find somebody and take on a side quest. That could be fun. Ooh. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, isn't that good? Stamina decreased. What's my view on Breath of the Wild? I love it. Yeah, it's a good game. It's a good game. I like that this game is, uh... References... I feel like Breath of the Wild is, is a reference point for a couple of things this game does. Mm -hmm. But not all of them. Uh, as I said in my review, what if Breath of the Wild were boring on purpose? <laughs> People took that to mean that I thought Bo Breath of the Wild was boring on accident. That's not what I meant. Uh, so this, this this game is cool because by delivering things to people, you do get rewards. You can actually... That's another way to stockpile medals. 
I swear I checked that highway fabricator and it was like closer to topped up. I can't believe it was completely empty. It's fine, it's fine. You know, I don't need an easy task. Wait, did Polygon already do their they, games of the decade they list? They did. That they put like 500 pumps. games on there. 500? It was, you know That's I, too many. It, it was mixed feelings for me. My video is going to be 10 it's games. Like literally every one of my friends has a game on that list. Is Video Ball on there? But I do not. Wait, Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy is not on their Games of the Decade list? There's only one critic review of Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. It was very... It was very... Uh, you, have, you don't even have a Metacritic score, right? I do not have a Metacritic score. That's terrible. Look, it's fine. It's fine. It's not for critics. It's, it's not for you. Polygon put Minecraft at number one? How do I not know this? Yeah. I just don't read it doesn't, other... Like that was just you know annoying. what? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say... I'm going to say this out loud. I don't, I don't read stuff about video games on the internet. That's, like, that's insane. I'm sorry to use the word insane. That's, that's just, I, I, I feel like I would be, have to have lost my mind to read a video game website. Again, no offense to people <laughs> who write about video games. I read Kotaku. Kotaku's good. That's right. the end of my little improv. Please let there, be med there are medals. Oh my god, it's happening. <laughs> you found it. You found it. All right. How much can I carry? So, uh. Has Bennett Foddy seen all of the Getting Over It tributes in Mario Maker 2? Uh, that was actually a subject of a stream we were going to do. Yeah, I love those. Have you played any of them? Uh, no, I... I've, oh, well, then there I you go. That's, it's still a I stream. I don't have Mario... Yeah, I would do it. I mean, I think it's really interesting, like, the idea that you can translate one set of level designs into a totally different game system. We can get Red Bull Esports' golden boy Grant Pooh Bear to uh, guest on that if we want to do that. Yeah, that sounds good. Shout us out in the comment if you want to... Uh, Stream if you want to oh, see that. 187. Stream. Oh man, I'm gonna have to drop some of these figurines. Oh, you got a lot, dude. You got a lot. This might be goddamn doable. It might be doable. This might be doable. All right, I've got the perfect amount of weight. I kind of want to hold the medals in my hand. So I'm really, I'm really kind of scared. Will there ever be another episode of the Mario Maker 2 Grand Pooh Bear series? Absolutely. This looks so much better. I'm just, Look I'm, I'm just honing my technique. I play the game for about an hour a day. I'm okay, so, so, so Tim, is it triggers or bumpers I have to do to hold on to this item in my hand? Triggers. Because the triggers are the backpack strap button. They're, they control right. your hands. Okay, got it. Okay. Triggers are hands. Oh, this is the... Uh, whoa, a little bit of a frame drop there. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. UCA, the United Critics of America. All right, now can I find the highway thing? I guess I should probably look at the map. So it was across this field that it was there. Yeah, that's 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 it. That's that one right there, the little, blue, little blue dibbly dot there, yeah. Oh, it even shows you the amount of marks. <gasps> You're actually close. We can actually do this. It's doable. We can accomplish this. My mom said I would never accomplish anything, so this is quite exciting. <laughs> Get her on the phone. No. <laughs> Wait, where's my way marker? It was her birthday like two weeks ago. One of my aunts died. Does everybody know my... If, if, shout me out in the comments. Have you watched the Link's Awakening video that I did? Anybody? I mentioned an aunt giving me 20 bucks. She died last weekend. Condolences. All right. She died. So, the lady who gave me Link's Awakening, one of my favorite games ever. That's a good game. Has left this earth. She was very old. Aunt Victoria. Goodbye. I hadn't seen her in 18 years. That's long. You know what? Alright, I got this. If you can do, look at that line... A line across the earth. Some people in the chat are saying, uh, uh, this game looks fun to chill with. They didn't realize it was going to be chill. And it is. It is chill. It is chill. Yeah. It's like every walking simulator. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's getting comparisons to No Man's Sky. Though I feel like No Man's Sky doesn't have the, uh, the grandiose idiotic heft of this game. The stupid bumbly balloon yeah. animaliness. My favorite part of No Man's Sky, I think they've actually kind of polished this away, sadly, but uh, it was the very beginning uh, when it uh, was released. Yeah. And you basically what it does is it crash lands you on a planet. Mm -hmm. And you have to walk for like half an hour 
in, in my case, it's randomly generated. It was like a acid rain uh, radioactive planet. And every time you die, it sends you back to the beginning. Yeah. And it was the most kind of like, it was just, I think, a random fluke, but it was it was the most getting over it -y, uh experience. It was just sort of great. Yeah, I... I oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man, you don't have any ladders or ropes on you. And my jump is small. If you had a ladder, you could just place it gingerly over this little gap. You're not going to... You can't... No, 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 no. Oh. Oh. The baby didn't like it. Okay, so this ravine sucks. You've got... There's... At one end of it, there is an incline. <laughs> wow. Crikey -o. I really felt like I had to go for it. Someone in the chat is saying, oh, someone got moderated, uh, but they, they had a good comment. For some reason, it got moderated. Because he used the word death, I believe. You get, sorry, our bot uh, hides your comment if you say death. He said Death Stranding is uh, a triple-A, it is a triple-A walking simulator. And yeah, it, it does have, the story stuff blows up in this game, and it keeps blowing up. The story stuff is wild. And if you want to see some real art movie, art house nonsense flying all over the place, it does definitely have plenty of that. Though, in between that, there are these big giant air pockets where you can just chill for as many hours as you want. And we are quite early in the game right now. You know the, the, the chat room and getting over it will moderate you if you say butter. Really? Yeah. Why? Well, because it's got the word butt in it. Oh. You might be just trying to get around the filter by hiding a rude word in another word. Someone just said butter in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, geez. I really... Oh, I didn't think that through. Oh, you're not holding it in your hand. You can reorient in the menu. Would, would does that take it out of my out of my? It doesn't no, it doesn't, right? Like, um, it it lessens the load slightly. I'll just drop these ceramics. I don't need them. Or do I? Oh, you can carry like that. I like carrying one heavy thing in each hand because it really, and then having a heavy thing at the bottom of the backpack. So where you put it in the backpack also changes the weight. So if if your heavy load there is at the bottom of the stack, it uh, makes it slightly easier to walk. All right, I got this. Here we go. So you have actually taken blood damage, which is the damage that kills you. So you've taken, you're at about half of well, that. I didn't, I didn't die. You didn't die, no. But you're, uh... My oh, look at that. You're right by the bridge. There was a bridge? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you were pretty far away from it, though. Yeah, so this is a... So, again, when people say walking simulator, it's to disparage games like, like Dear Esther or, uh, you know... Uh, right. Other games that are not... Th that have artistic aspirations and are relatively free of mechanical systems. Whereas this game, even in the most walking simulators, they're, they're not actually simulatory at all. The walking is actually very ginger and gentle and simple, right? Right. So... This game, the walking is ultra, ultra heavy. I mean, it is Campbell's Chunky Soup. It is Frosted Mini Wheats. And those other games are just Frosted Flakes. This game's Grape Nuts. Yeah, I think With a those, sediment. The kinds of games people usually call walking simulators are more like looking simulators. They're exploring simulators. I, I actually tried to coin the phrase like Disneyland game back before we had the phrase walking simulator. Yeah. Or it's just like a theme park ride. Now you can't even call a game a theme park ride anymore. and Everybody thinks you're talking about that hot Martin Scorsese uh, take. You see that? Yep. Calling Marvel movies theme park rides? He's right. Someone thought I was making fun of Martin Scorsese when I mentioned him in a recent video. No, uh, I agree with him. Yeah, I, agree. I watch all those Marvel movies, but I agree with him. I agree with him. Well, I, I mean, know. it's the same as the situation... Uh, he he couldn't, I think, level that criticism against this game, right? Yeah. This is uh, 
This is not a. This is not how it works at Disneyland. I got to tell you that. There is there is so much video gaminess in here. This is a uh, action park. This is not you know action park New Jersey. It's like. Yeah, it's like he took the 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 fa the the idea of just walking in the game is as nuanced as shooting might be in something else. Right. And it's. I didn't see any critics. Uh, I wish I had articulated it that way in my review, which I, I didn't. I instead said a million weird, idiotic things. But it, it's, uh, there's a lot of nuance and there's a lot of system and mechanic, mechanicalness in here. There's stuff in the game. And it is, oh, you're just, just making deliveries. It's like, w what is the meaning of the word just yeah. when some weird meathead pops into my YouTube comments to disparage this game about just making deliveries? What sleeps within the word just? Are you saying that a real video game has to have headshots and kills and owns and, and, and whatever in it? All right, wait, wait, wait. I need, uh, I need advice here. You're doing a poor job of managing your traversal through the terrain. You, you've got, you've got <laughs> That's a plot. not advice. No, I, uh... You've got to plot your route better. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get to the fabricator with this heavy load of metal. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no. Your materials no, are going to get just ruined. The, just, just the resins. That's okay. Maybe you should throw the resins. No, wait. You need resins still, right? All right. Look, I'm so close. It's right there. But it's across this ravine. Is that a bridge? That is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, a, no, 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 no. It was a foundation of a bridge. Oh. It's an incomplete bridge. So in, there's no bridge. You probably have the materials necessary to... Uh, to. That's a rope? Yeah, it, it's made of ceramics. That's an online bridge. You need 1,600 metals. Somebody just planted, thinking they're going to take credit for putting All a bridge right, so there. The answer is there's no bridge. It takes a lot of materials to make a bridge. So that's, that's... It takes a... Oh, also, for anyone popping into the or into the stream just now, realize that we are. He has taken off all the assists, so he's playing this like Gran Turismo style. Um, you do the game offers you. This is chapter three of the game. Won't say how many chapters there are. There's way more than three. This is chapter three, relatively early in the story. The game has already started to offer you upgrades. So, for example, you could. You're not gonna make it. You're not gonna. Oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna make it. Shoot. Oh, I was so close. Okay, now what you have to do, and I have no time to explain, you have to swim into your mouth. You have to do this very fast. <laughs> you have to find yourself very quickly. You need to find yourself. If you don't, is that you? Is that you back there? Was that you back there? Is that you? You do not have that much time. Where do you think it is? Crikey, is that that yellow line? I can't see. My eyes are messed up. You have to swim into your mouth. Wait. No, that's like a rectangle. You just hold down the square button. Oh, yeah, you're way down in the ravine. I'm not going to explain what would have happened if you would have quickly swam into your mouth. Sam's back. He's okay. He's okay. Sort of. Wait, did I get across the ravine? No, you're back up at the top. You're back at the you're at the jumping off point. He vomited up some bugs. So now we know those are those are cryptobiots. They're extremely large water bears. Okay. Alright. So You can't make that jump. <laughs> maybe I can though. Maybe if you put the so if maybe if you put uh your speed skeleton on and then you put that metal tank drum to the bottom of your stack? I can do it. You can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can. I played this whole game. You can't do it. You, <laughs> that jump is not possible. I'm gonna do it. There's a little ramp downward over there. You need like a ladder to lay gingerly across the ravine. Yeah, that sounds good and all. You're gonna you're gonna break your god darn metals, dude. The metal, they're metals. The container gets broken, they spill everywhere. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Sometimes the long... Here's, here's a tip for Death Stranding. Sometimes the long way is the short way. Just saying. What does a climbing anchor do? Oh, that lets you... You stab it in the ground, then it lets you climb down. 
from a place. So it's helpful for getting down a ravine, see, but I not see. up. What I I did helpfully on my own shard of the game was I put, after getting to the other side of the ravine, I j would put a climbing anchor on the other side so that if people fell, they could climb up on the side they wanted to. Something I did that was nice and helpful. Someone asked, can you throw packages? Buddy, you can, you can hurl them, yeah. You can really let them rip. Well, so maybe that's what I should be doing. You can really let them rip. I think I can jump now. Let's practice run. No, that's not a jump. Again, putting the heavy thing on the bottom makes you bottom heavy. It makes you jump further. Well, what not, if I hold not, I'm not trolling I'm you. I'm going to hold him in my hands, right? You're not going to make it. Eight people have the platinum trophy for this game right now? Lord. I don't even want to know what that means to get the platinum trophy in this game. Carry by hand. Carry yeah, he's by looking hand. good with that in his hand. Sam Porter Bridges. That's how the automated okay, Now, so I'm holding down the triggers so that I can keep carrying this stuff. And then let's check the jump. Oh, that's looking better. <laughs> I'm going to look at my YouTube comments for my tips video here uh, while right, you here struggle. We, here we go. Here we go. Someone right, says... I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the... Oh, there's people. Porters. No. Yeah, they're porters. They're good guys. Well, put, put your items down. Put your items down. Just let go of the triggers. Oh. He jumped it. Press the touchpad. Just tap the touchpad. Thanks for the help. He's what? giving you a smoke grenade. You don't That's want that. That's not any help at all. All right. How do I throw? What's he trying to... He's trying to give you a blood bag. You don't want that. Okay. I'm just going to do it. Okay. So... To, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No. No. You're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Oh, that was incredible. That is... Incredulous. That is great. Okay. Okay. Incredulicious. That was incredibleicious. Uh, all right. So where is the thing? Is it? Am I heading towards it? I just, I just wanted him to do the harder way. Okay. Someone in the chat says, or someone in my YouTube comment says, why does he put the most obnoxious music possible in the background? What? What's obnoxious about like Mozart's Turkish March? I filled it with requiems and I filled it with Russian uh, ballet waltzes, like because I feel like those are. I feel like a, a, the Nutcracker Waltz is, is like, interesting for this game, right? Isn't it? Yeah. I feel like that's the right music to have in the background. You gotta put music in the background, else you're gonna hear all my mouth sounds and someone's gonna die. <laughs> There's some special alloys if you want those. No, I don't. I wanna, I just wanna find a way up this cliff, I guess. You're not gonna get up that cliff. You said I couldn't jump the ravine. <laughs> and you were wrong. Also, a lot of people on the chat are, uh or in my YouTube comments, are telling me that I'm pronouncing Hideo Kojima's name wrong. No. When a god darned person says Hideo Kojima, that's not right at all. I lived in Japan for 10 years, you jagoffs. Trust me, I'm pronouncing the name correctly. Wait, how, do, how am I supposed to pronounce it? Hideo Kojima. I'm not going to do that. That's, it's just if Kojima. I did that, it would just be racist. It's Kojima. Kojima, not Ko Kojima. Kojima. Americans have this sick problem <laughs> of putting a god darn accent where it does not belong, like putting an emphasis where it does not belong. Japanese names should be pronounced unaccented, unemphasized, 100% of the time. Kojima, not Kojima. So what's your stance on... Ice cream versus ice cream. I say ice cream. <laughs> the Bibby Babis is at a lower red now. He's uh He's fine. Look, he's uh just about dead. J <gasps> oh! BB stress level increasing. This is dangerous. And look how close I am. Look, it would be sad if I died now. Oh, we've got a guy in the chat who is raising an issue with my manner of speaking. <laughs> it seems like uh, you need to get bunker blasted and or go tune in to some jag-off 14-year-old who uh, 
Auto talks about his auto oxymia. Yeah, your BB's dead. He's not dead. He has to be rebooted. Okay. Your uh, your baby's got to be rebooted. All right, I see it. Your baby has a software component, like literally. He he needs to be rebooted. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, the monster figurines, underwear, and junk components are, are all eligible for re-delivery by others. All right, I got it. Oh, I don't got it. Don't destroy the metals. <laughs> I really hope this is enough metals. There's going to be somebody in the chat who knows exactly whether I have enough metals or not. I have not been paying attention. Someone asked, do you think Kojima has uh, ever interacted with a real-life human baby before? Um... Yeah, what, he, are you, uh, what, are you, what are you saying is wrong with this? I, I, believe, I believe he has several children, actually. Sage Water Dragon says you're going to be 30 short. Let's find out. You dropped it! <laughs> <laughs> You've okay. got to pick them back up. We'll put, put, them them put them on your back. Put them on your back for safe whatevering. Right. Now, I can't believe he made it. Rebuild the roads, Sam. Right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. First of all... Just uh, dunk them. That one? Dunk them! Wait, Lord. Oh, my God. You were 30 short, but you don't have any ceramics in there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are starting to come back. Uh, and I can tell. Well, I can't do anything about that. I just don't have the ceramics. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe you got 3,000 medals or 2,000 medals in here almost. So, wait, how many ceramics are there back at the old the homestead? None. Yeah, I think you might have set it up impossible for me. Starspawn666 is asking, how do you get into binaural beats? Um, there's a lot of iPhone apps that are like binaural beats. You're going to need to put them under the, uh, put your phone under your pillow, put in some earbuds. I bought some Panasonic earbuds that don't have a little remote on them so so that I don't roll over onto the remote when I sleep. They're like eight bucks on Amazon. You need to go, you need to go to bed to bring your BB back, and you've also got to fabricate some new boots. What's going to happen if I run out of boots? That's when the toenail ripping animation comes <laughs> into play. Really? Do you want to see it? I kind of do. So, uh, someone in the chat says, sleep in silence, you dweebs. No. Once you've started sleeping with binaural beats, you will, uh, you will understand that there is a thing better than silence on this earth. And it is sweet, sweet sounds. Silence not usually an option in New York City anyway. Yeah, well that's, yeah there's no silence. Alright. So. Let's just see. Yeah, there's only uh, 80 ceramics here. Wait, was there not an 8 Honda? Hundo? No. I can't see. No, it's not there. It's not there. It's been it's been taken and delivered. Crikey. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we're going to call it. I think that's I think we we've reached that kind of point. I thought you had some ceramics. Um, <laughs> oh, you left your ceramics at the bottom of the ravine. I think I've uh, I think I've done a good job of an impossible task. Yeah, I really would have I was I was kind of hoping uh I was hoping we would accomplish the mission though. I guess that was too much to ask for. What's happened? I I'm going to confess to the stream is watching this guy pee over and over again has made me need to pee. I got to go real bad myself. <laughs> yeah. Cuz I drank this coffee with yeah, these chewy drank coffee grounds. Yeah, he drank a big uh, big coffee right at the beginning of the stream. And Coffee. saying words stream over and over again is not helping a whole bunch either. You gotta love saying stream. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, is he re is he saved? I saved him, right? He's alive. The baby's back, yeah. Baby's back on the menu, boys. No, don't do that. Okay. Exit from that. Alright, sorry. That would be a spoiler if you, if you used that. Someone says this was a fun stream. Was it? <laughs> it was fun for me. Yeah, I guess it was pretty fun. I'm even more psyched to play this game now. 
Everyone with questions about binaural beats and earbuds, just tweet at me. Oh man, when you start your own save of the game, you're gonna, you're gonna, I'm gonna love you're it. gonna experience a lot of difficulty in those first. Couple. <laughs> you're actually gonna be pretty. Uh, we've uh, we've indoctrinated you a little bit to how the game. You gotta drink a monster. Drink a monster. Okay. All right. This is how we close it out. We give the give yeah, the let's, man. Let's just help them with their product placement. A little give bit. the man a reward. He's Unleash like, oh, the I'm, beast. Oh, a monster. I mean, Unleash the beast. A drinkable feast. Monster energy. Yeah, it's got what plants need. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Electrolytes. <laughs> they don't actually have uh, electrolytes. <laughs> they in there. don't. Just energy. There we go. Throw it in the bin. Oh, he's feeling good now. Can you overdo it? I think one is overdoing it. <laughs> Two is just suicide. I know you've been known to drink a few of these. Unleash of the beast, a drinkable feast. Monster energy drink. It's got caffeine, calories. Sweetness and flavor. Drink it today. Savor it all day. You know, Tim, every time we do one of these streams and and I'm listening to your voice in my headphones, you know what it <laughs> reminds me of? What? What do we got? You ever play that game Beautiful Joe on the on the GameCube? Ah, uh, VJ. You ever played that uh, game? Do you ever press pause while you're playing that game? I press pause in that game, yeah. When you press it, it goes... Toilet. <laughs> Toilet. Toilet. Yeah. Sounds like you. I like Beautiful Joe. You gonna drink all of them? Yeah, I wanna see what happens. It's got L-carnitine in it, according to the top. Yeah, he drinks that 500 mils fast. He does a little thing he where his feet it. go up. He's kind of like having a, enjoying him a little dog treat. Doing a little yippee. Yeah, it's like he drinks it like he's in a beach milk commercial from Australia in the 1980s. Jump for your peanut butter, Bibby Babis. That's what I would say. All right, last one. Take a drink, take a drink. I don't think if you have this, the sponsorship for your game, you can't show any negative impact, right? Like, he can't be over-caffeinated now. No, he's just going to be glorious. It's kind of making me want that sweet, sweet drugstore taste. Yeah, let's go, and, uh, let's go and drink five. How many do you drink? Six? They've got them down the street. <laughs> there's, a, there's this big old market. I'm going to tell you what, ever since we relocated Kotaku headquarters up to the top of Times Square in New York, Manhattan. Um, you're going to want to press the start button. You you got you should and then choose skip skip this and then skip this cuz these are story cutscenes. There's a that you see when you go on the elevator. We don't want to spoil the stories. Yeah, for fair, anyway. fair enough. Um yeah, there's there's a we're we're in Times Square where all of the stores charge uh what are ostensibly theme park prices for everything. So a monster's like $8. I went and I got a couple of monsters uh, late at night just so I could film. Uh, Look how energetic he is. Look at yeah, this. He's a, do you want to? Look. Wait, wait. Go, go, well, go back. Really go back inside. Know, go I back wanna, inside real quick. I want to know how much urine he has. What I want. Oh, wait, there, that's a that's a post box. There might be. You're getting my hopes up. But there might be. A, activate terminal. Yeah. Activate terminal. See if there's any materials in there. Share locker. Take a look. Oh. Sam. Sam. You can use. You can what? What did you say? I couldn't hear you. <laughs> uh, what do we got? Oh yeah, this is a PCC level two. There's some ceramics, but not enough. Take them though. Who cares? It's open season. It's open season. Ceramics are for pleasing. Welcome back to the Goblin Bunker. Someone says the commute is not that bad to Times Square, but being there ain't fun. Yeah, being there... I mean, whatever. It's it's fun. Steven Totillo was telling me the other day. He likes... Uh, you go out there and you just see a bunch of people are there on purpose. They're there for fun. They've been looking forward to it their whole lives. I liked it when I was here as a tourist. Then you've seen it. I don't I don't really get what the thing is there. It's a, All I'm saying is... It's a city. What it translates to me, it's it's the big city for people who've never been to a big yeah, city. Yeah, and you know, I, I had never been to a big city when I first came here, and I went to Times Square, and I looked at it, and it was it's a, It's a small town Bibby Chibis's idea of a big city, yeah, right? that was me. Yeah. I was a small town Bibby Chibis once. Yeah, you were, you're from uh, from uh, corn country. No, I'm from, uh, <laughs> I'm from, uh, 
in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, technically. Well. But uh, I'm from everywhere. I'm from military bases is where I'm there from. There you go. This game is very, uh, very much reminds me of the weird prefab structures of military bases in a neat way. A nostalgic way. All right. This is going to be it. I'm going to make this emblematic of the fact that I tried. Put it in there. I'm now... We got, like, halfway. Yeah. That's uh, And that's a listen, I think, for everybody. I feel like we could have done it if you'd just taken it a little bit more seriously. <laughs> 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 um, we could definitely... Uh, so here's the fun part. Just to let everyone know. We could accomplish this mission within, like, 20 minutes. If. I just, uh... Used a vehicle. <laughs> if we just use a vehicle. Yeah, but we're not going to do that. Yeah, why would we do that? Yeah. <gasps> See if we can just throw him into the water or something. Hold his breath. No, that's the perfect way to end it. Make him hold his breath. We'll talk, right, him. We're gonna we'll go talk to, him out, right? We're going to go to the... Let me get to the scenic zone from my now overused animated gif from this game. We're going to go over to the GIF zone. Look at my expert running technique. Feather. Feather light touch on the analog sticks. Feather light touch. Manipulate the right analog stick. Oh, he took that decline with excellent grace. Using the scanner to map the terrain. This is how you have to play a game when you make videos about it. You have to play with this ultra precise level of care. Otherwise, you're going to look at the footage and be like, why did I rotate the, the camera that much? <laughs> All right. It's like watching uh, StarCraft streams where they're just constantly moving the camera. You're just like... Okay, so... Can I get him to... First of all, man's got to go. Yeah, pee off the bridge. Yeah. He's got to have some pee. He's got to have some big boy pee. There you go. 495 milliliters of <laughs> That's red much. hot monster. Uh, let's see. That's how much I have right now. All right, go. Hold on. I want to... Got to get him off the bridge. I'm trying. You have to turn him around. His zippage was left a little bit to be desired. The zippage was too slow. Just point the camera off the bridge, then he'll do it. How come I can't... Okay, there we go. All right, you got it. Hold on, hold on. I want it to be picturesque. All right. Okay, wait, hold on. No, he's not... He's. His, I gotta line his feet up directly. I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh, my God. You're like a director of photography. Yeah, well... Again, that's how you play video games when you make videos about them. You can't... Uh, I have not played a video game like right, a go, normal go, go, person go, go, go. in, like... Go a little years. closer. A little closer. A little closer. A little closer. A little closer. There you go. <gasps> Toes touching the edge. Uh, his rear, his back foot. Don't worry about it. God dang! Oh, he's gotten 496 now. Let let fly. Oh, uh. uh, we filled the man to bursting. We filled the man. We filled a man. Okay, what? hold on. <laughs> what are you doing? He's he won't let me angle it correctly. Just angle the camera off the edge, and he'll do it. London Bridge is falling down because of the bridges. Okay. Right, go. Why aren't you pointing the camera off the edge of the bridge? Because I want to have that bridges thing in the background because I want to make a GIF out of this. There you go. <laughs> you got it. Look at that golden stream. Why doesn't the baby like it? It's kind of weird. No, the baby is liking it. Oh, he's fine. He's laughing? That's his, uh, his laughter, yeah. Paint the town gold. Oh, yeah. Kind of looks like it's coming out. Actually, of you know button. what? Captain Dongs, I pee on your bridge. Because I think your bridge sucks, Captain Dongs. Captain Dongs has set himself up as the ultimate billionaire rich right. boy. Okay, now, now, now choke him out. to death. Yeah. Breath. <gasps> you almost fell off. Right, he almost it, got do it, do it, darn. Do it. Okay, ready? I'm going to line him up. Nice. Hold on. Uh, Let him die with a little dignity. Okay. All right. Well, I don't have his son. All right, go. 
Captain Dogs, I'm going to tell you what he did. He set himself up as the ultimate rich boy. He's got, he's giving it, he's his own daddy's money. You know what I mean? Because he just set up all these McDonald's franchises everywhere. And he's just raking it in. This Scuff Vantage 2 controller makes my hands smell like scotch tape. And I love it. Yes, it is an upside down rainbow. Someone is asking in the chat. Yeah, fair enough. You're not hallucinating. It's there. Yeah, it's a lens flare of some kind. And... Oh, he's got to, we got to wait for the yellow one to go down. And then probably the red one, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The world-bending haze. Oh, he won't... He, he shake won't it do off. it. I'm not no, gonna, don't will, shake it off. I'm not going to shake it off. We will not shake this off. Sam Porter Bridges, I command you to die. <laughs> <laughs> we got two mills in the old urine tank. I don't think he's going to die. I think that's it. He's too much of a survivor. He's got his big boy pants on. He put his big boy pants on for breathing. <gasps> what? Ah. Uh, he just did himself another push up and he's okay? Well, this has been a story of uh almost but not quite. <gasps> Yeah, joke's on you. I had a whole bunch of blood bags. I lived! All right. <laughs> We're going to call it? Yeah, I guess we call it now. We can call it. Hold on, hold on. Let's, uh... There's my baby. He's fine. Shake him like that. You got to... You got to... Get a little acceler rock. accelerometer. You gotta actually rock the controller to do this. Little dumb baby, little bibby babis. He, he gave happy. me a thumbs up. He gave you the thumbs up? That's so cool. All right. <laughs> there you go. Put him back on. Jack me back into the Matrix, Captain Bibby Babis. Now I'm stuck in this god darn hole. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in. Yeah. I tried to die and I did not. Thanks, everybody. I tried to repair that, that uh, freeway, and I did not. There are millions more things to do in this game. Special fuel. I get to put it up there. If only we'd let you use vehicles. In case this stream has given you any kind of an experience or opinion about this game, uh, you do, at this point, have vehicles, and you can... We could have we could have done this a lot more easily, but we were trying we were trying to do it the hard, weird way. Cause hard and weird, just like a beard. I don't, I don't doesn't rhyme. That does rhyme. Well, I suppose that's it. I'm gonna sign you all off now. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'm Tim Rogers. I was born stupid. However, I will not die hungry. Video games forever. Kotaku.com.